Welcome to Oceania, where volcanoes, time, and extreme isolation have created some of the smallest and most unique ecoregions in the world. Of the Earth's eight biogeographical realms, the smallest is the oceanic. It is the only realm to have zero continents, instead consisting of over 2,000 islands in the Pacific Ocean, covering a land area of roughly 45,500 square kilometers, or just 3% of a percent of the world's land area, made up of 24 separate and unique ecoregions. The lines are gray for what exactly constitutes this oceanic realm, but I'll be following one Earth's framework, which consists purely of the oceanic islands, which are islands formed by volcanic activity, and over time, their barren rocks are colonized by seeds, plants, and animal species, eventually creating these unique ecosystems. From largest to smallest, the island chains and countries of this realm include Fiji, the Hawaiian Islands, Samoa, French Polynesia, Kiribati, Tonga, Micronesia, Guam, Palau, the Northern Mariana Islands, Wallace and Futuna, Niue, the Cook Islands, American Samoa, the Easter Islands, the Marshall Islands, the Bonin and Volcano Islands, the Pitcairn Islands, Tuvalu, Nauru, and Tokelau Island. All combined, this is over 2,000 islands for 45 and a half thousand square kilometers, which is the size of Slovakia, or three quarters of the size of West Virginia. Not all of these islands are created equal in terms of size, however. The two largest islands of Fiji and Hawaii's eight main islands take up 32.6 thousand kilometers, or 70% of the realm's total size. The entirety of Oceania across its many islands is only made up of three biome types. The smallest of these biomes is the tropical grasslands. Covering an area of 3,400 square kilometers, they make up just 7% of this realm's land area, and they are tiny in comparison to the grasslands of the continents, entirely situated in Hawaii. These grasslands are either on tiny islands too small to support other flora, on the western leeward sides of the large islands where there isn't enough rain to support rainforests or the high alpine regions. The tropical grasslands here are separated by three separate ecoregions. The northwestern island scrubs, the lowland scrubs, and the largest of the three, the Hawaii tropical high shrublands. The tropical high shrublands cover an area of 1,900 square kilometers and make up one eighth of Hawaii's land surface. This grassland region is just bigger than many large cities, but is still the oceanic realm's sixth largest ecoregion. Split into three chunks, these shrublands cover the mountaintops of Haleakala, Mauna Loa, and Mauna Kea. These mountaintops reach high into the sky, with Mauna Kea being the highest island mountain, topping out at 4,205 meters in elevation. The jungle gradually transitions into subalpine grassland at around 2,000 meters, and above 3,000 meters in elevation, it is a unique alpine desert of black rock and silver sword plants, higher than many rain clouds can reach. This shrubland receives 125 to 900 millimeters of rain a year, with the precipitation lessening as the elevation increases. The temperature too is mild. Above 3,000 meters, the highs are 15 degrees Celsius, and overnight, the lows are about one degree, with temperatures that slip below zero, not uncommon on the highest of peaks. Descended from the Californian tar weed, the Silver Sword Alliance is a group of 50 plant species that thrives in these alpine regions. They are large round succulents growing to the size of a beach ball with silver spiked leaves, and they have a single large flowering stalk that grows up to five feet tall over the course of five to 90 years, depending on the species. They no longer cover the slopes as they once did, some species coming close to extinction due to grazing animals, competition from invasive species, and introduced ants. 
However, they have bounced back slightly in numbers in recent years, but their wide, fragile root systems are still vulnerable to tourists. The other plants include many endemic shrubs that are only found in these elevated grasslands. Some scattered grasses, such as the Hawaiian bent grass and the Pilauka, and then native ferns, such as the Douglas bladder fern, Kalama Oho, the Ola Ali, and the Iwa Iwa. The animals of this region include the Waiku bugs, the Palila honey creepers, the nesting Hawaiian dark rumped petrels, and the Nene. The Nene are likely descended from the Canadian goose around 500,000 years ago. They are the world's rarest goose. Their population of once 25,000 reduced down to just 30 individuals in 1952, and have since bounced back in number to 3,900 today with the help of conservation. A medium-sized grazing goose, they weigh up to seven pounds and are heavily terrestrial, with less webbing on their feet to traverse the volcanic terrain. Much of this region is protected by national parks and forest reserves, but are still heavily threatened by invasive species. These mountaintops essentially being isolated islands of habitat on isolated islands. The oceanic realm's middle child is the tropical dry broadleaf forest. This biome being rainforests that have long dry seasons and they cover 14.7 thousand square kilometers, which is a third of the realm but it consists of just a tiny 0.4% of the world's dry broadleaf forests. Found on Yap, the Northern Mariana Islands, Guam, and the leeward sides of the Hawaii and Fiji Islands, they are blocked by much of the steady precipitation by their mountain ranges, but still receive enough in the wet season to support forests. The largest of these, Fiji's tropical dry forest, historically covered 6,900 square kilometers and is the realm's second largest eco-region. They have long dry seasons, blocked by much of the moisture by the mountains for two thirds of the year, but still receive 1,000 to 1,500 millimeters of rain from December to April, with 70% of the annual rain occurring in just these five months. Existing from the beaches all the way to the western peaks of the mountains, the highest of which, Mount Tomanevi, which peaks at 1,324 meters. The heat is steady year round with highs of 30 Celsius and overnight lows of 20 Celsius. These dry forests contain over 300 plant species with over a hundred of them just found in these forests. The tree cover is heavily dominated by conifers, sandalwoods, and gyrocarpus trees. Also found here are some primitive cycads and gymnosperms. Of Fiji's animal species, one that is completely unique to these dry forests is the Fiji crested iguana. It is a small, critically endangered iguana species that reaches about 10 inches long or up to 32 inches long if you include its tail. It is a vibrant green iguana that can rapidly change color to black when threatened. It rarely spends time on the forest floor, being arboreal with long toes and a tail to balance in the trees. What's very interesting about this iguana is that all other iguana species are American, which means that this species ancestors rafted over 9,000 kilometers across the Pacific to get here to Fiji. This area is one of the most endangered forests in the entirety of the Pacific, with only 3% of its expanse protected and having less than 100 kilometers of original forest remaining. These forests have been converted to savanna, ranches, and sugarcane plantations. Invasive species such as goats, cats, rats, and pigs have degraded the habitat and preyed on native wildlife. The small patches that remain tend to be isolated from the others, such as the island of Yadua Tava, which is only one square kilometer in size, but is a sanctuary for the Fiji crested iguana, with 12,000 out of the 13,000 remaining individuals living here. The largest biome in Oceania is the tropical moist broadleaf forest, covering an area of 29,000 square kilometers. And although they cover 60% of the entire realm, these rainforests account for just one one thousandth of the world's total rainforest. There are 17 ecologically distinct ecoregions across this realm, covering Micronesia and the surrounding areas, French Polynesia, and the windward sides of the Hawaiian Islands. The largest ecoregion of this biome is also found in Fiji, with Fiji's tropical moist broadleaf forest covering 11.6 thousand square kilometers, also making it the single largest ecoregion in Oceania, covering 25% of the realm's total land area. Found on Wallace and Futuna, and Fiji, 80% of this region is found on the windward sides of Fidi Levu and Vanua Levu. 
consisting of lowland, montane, and cloud forests. These are rich rainforests, receiving over 2,500 millimeters of rain a year. They're very warm, with 30 degree highs and 20 degree lows. There are many, many tree species in these moist forests. Some only found in the lowland forests, some in the montane forests, and others only found in the cloud forest mountaintops. Fiji has over 700 tree species across its islands, many of which are endemic. In terms of animal species, there are six native bat species, 15 reptiles, two frogs, and over 150 birds, many of which are endemic, such as the Fijian blossom bat, the Fiji flying fox, the Fiji banded iguana, the Fiji scaly toed gecko, the Fiji burrowing stink, the Fiji ground frog, the Fiji tree frog, the Fiji goshawk, the red throated lorikeet, the giant honey eater, the orange breasted mizomela, the collared lori, the mass shiny parrot, and the golden fruit doves. Compared to the dry forests, much more of the moist forests remain. 40% of the jungle still exists, but it's mainly in intact in the rugged mountainous terrain. However, only 5% of the forest is formally protected. All the ecoregion and biome extents that I covered are not what is currently existing, but the historic range based off of climate and species before human. The entirety of Oceania is incredibly threatened by invasive species. Many of these islands were predator free, their species losing their instincts and defenses over time, making them very vulnerable to introduced predators such as cats, rats, and mongoose. Invasive species that thrived in similar conditions are also a threat, often outcompeting the native species. Although small, the smallest of the world's eight biogeographic realms by far, barely making a dent in the land area, just 0.03%. It more than makes up its weight with the number of different ecoregions it has, containing 5% of the world's different ecoregions. Oceania is the ocean of islands. Vast stretches of sea covered with countless unique islands carrying their own endemic life. This is where the extremes meet. Volcanic magma erupting in paradise. The black rock and beautiful beaches contrasted by the green of the rainforest and filled with the sounds of countless bird calls. These unique ecosystems are separated by the continents by hundreds of kilometers of ocean and millions of years of isolated evolution. 